I'd love to give you that. Honey cow! Come on down. The American government wants to help you buy a new car. But if you want to qualify for those all-important $7,500 in tax credits, the options are more limited than ever. You've got just five EV models and one plug-in hybrid to choose from. That's because for a vehicle to receive the full EV tax credit, it must comply with three major manufacturing requirements. One, it has to be assembled in North America. Two, at least 50% of battery components must come from the U.S. or countries the U.S. has free trade agreements with. And three, the vehicle must get at least half of what powers the battery from those same domestic and free trade sources. By 2027, those battery requirements will both increase to 80%, which may further limit options. But more EVs could potentially miss tax credit qualification as early as next year. Essentially, if automakers want to qualify, no more getting materials from China, which currently 90% of the EV supply chain is reliant on. That's according to a Morgan Stanley report. As a result of these new rules, 24 EV variations that qualified for tax credits last year no longer do. The Nissan Leaf, Chevy Blazer, Ford Mustang Mach-E, and even some Tesla models. It's a blow to consumers who may have been waiting to purchase an EV in 2024, which is when dealerships gain the ability to give their customers instant access to tax credits. Prior to the start of this year, all EV buyers had to wait until after they filed their taxes to claim the credit. This has all led automakers and EV battery manufacturers to pivot toward investing in more North American-based infrastructure to make vehicles that will meet the requirements for tax credits, to the tune of $40 billion so far. But building those facilities will take years, and automakers don't have the luxury of waiting around for the U.S. to catch up. GM, which saw a 93% increase in their EV sales last year, is now offering incentives equal to the full tax credit for its EVs that lost their qualification status. Ford, whose F-150 EV retained its vehicle credits, is hiking the prices on some of those electric trucks by $10,000, as some of their other models now no longer qualify. The automaker has also moved to make major production cuts of about 50% on some of their EVs. Tesla, who led the world in EVs sold during 2023, has also indicated it will make changes so that more of their vehicles can receive these credits. The company says their Cybertruck is likely to qualify later this year.